Hello, Adam at Flash Building here, and I've had a whole lot of requests on how to make the MP3 playlist boombox that I made not auto start by default. And it's pretty easy to do. So when you go and you download the original, so what you can do is you'll notice that this one that I'm tweaking right now is there presently if you want to grab it and do what I'm doing here. So what I'm going to do is click on the object on stage there. So the only thing on stage is a movie clip called whole player. I'm going to double click inside of it and here's the player's functionality. It sets itself up on frame one, some variables. On frame two it swaps out which song to play in the playlist. Very simple. And on frame three is most of the player's functionality for all the little things, the speakers that bounce and all of that. So let me publish out and see what we got. Okay, so you can see it just starts auto playing on its own all kind of nifty little features on it um, so it starts auto playing on its own and I've had a lot of people ask how to make it to not auto play so we're just gonna hit this control and text layer and let's call this startup clip startup clip now on that frame on that keyframe there, that first keyframe, I'm going to draw out a rectangle that will cover the entire thing. That looks good. So now what we'll do is have a let's give that a little bit of a tint let's bring down the alpha there we go now right on top of it I'm just gonna make a button a rounded button I'm gonna put the play symbol on that just using a triangle let's put it right in the middle So let's just grab the pen tool and draw a triangle the best we can. Looks good. Good enough. Let's bring this point up. It's about right there. Now let's just grab that, make it white in the fill. Let's turn it. You can hold shift to make it turn at increments at certain angles so it doesn't turn free now let's just resize it free transform bring it down bring it in bring it up bring it in there we go something like that and that's going to be the button that will tell the user that they should click on that to start playing the to have the player start We'll just make it to where they click on anything there, it'll start. Convert the symbol, movie clip, startup clip. So you'll see I grabbed all three of those items I just created on that startup clip layer. And now they are a movie clip. Let's give it an instance name, startup clip. Okay, and obviously you would make your graphics look better than I have mine here, but just for the sake of the video length, I'm not going to go too, through too much trouble to get the functionality going, just to show you, because you guys can make your buttons and that cover look really smooth, nice, beveled out, whatever you want. Okay, so now we have the startup clip sitting there. Let's move the controls. Well, actually, all we really need to remove is the action script not remove it but move it over so we have the skin the cosmetics the speakers and EQ all of that can stay now let's move these action script frames over let's just click off here in frame 10 and then highlight frame 1 and drag click down and drag and you'll grab all three then once all three are black you grab those and move them out to about frame 20 there you go. So now the code 
that's going to be starting up the player is not going to do it until frame really frame 22 is when the player is going to start up it's going to initialize its variables in frame 20 frame 21 it's going to do the switching so you know in the code anywhere where it says go to and play 2 change that to go to and play 21 because that's where the frame switches or the song the track that's playing switches okay okay now all we have to do to make this happen now is make sure the startup clip is sitting on top but is not visible when they get to frame 20 so we'll extend out these by highlighting or just clicking down and dragging again once all four are grayed out press F5 extend all the cosmetics and such now let's extend out to frame 19 the startup clip layer let's give that F5 so what's gonna happen is when they click this I'm gonna code it out right now right here in frame 1 I'm gonna press F9 open actions panel type in stop action that way it doesn't just play on its own it'll stop right there in frame 1 and now let's code out the button or when this clip when they click it to start it up okay so we'll enter our actions panel here we stop action and we'll put the instance name startup clip <laughs> there it is okay so now once you press the anything here you see there it starts see that again that's what it'll look like when they come to your site or your player and they'll know to click the play button if they want to hear some music you can even write right there click to play but once they click it, it starts up that's what you guys wanted so that's what I show